Hey, what's going on guys? I am John from JFM Development, and today we're going to remix GM Monster. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you clicked on my video today. Let me first go over what I'm actually vaping on. Right now I'm vaping on my blueberry donut recipe on my RX23 with my Troll version 2 RDA. And it's absolutely delicious. I'm loving it. That's probably what I'm going to start getting into on this channel. I've done a lot of stuff with strawberries and a lot of... Um, pretty much just a lot of stuff with strawberries. I want to kind of branch out into some other things on this channel just to leave a variety and lean more towards strawberries because uh, a lot of people were asking for it and I want to give you guys what you want, but I think some people also want more of a variety. So I think I'm going to start tackling some blueberries next. Probably my first thing is probably going to be a blueberry cheesecake because that just sounds delicious. All right, so today's recipe is, uh, it's not really a clone of jam monster but it is but it's more like a remix because i took every first of all because obviously nobody who's cloning knows the exact recipe so that's the first thing but i'm calling this a remix because i'm not just aiming to make it like jam monster one to one but i want to make it how i want to vape it like the thing I think jam monster is lacking on when i vaped it is strawberries i think it's not enough. I I think it just could do better. So I've been messing around with Jam Monster for a while now, or at least my clone of it. And this is my third iteration. I just tweaked a couple more things based on uh, some some inside information I got about black currant kind of helping making a jammy taste. Normally I don't use black currant for that. I use liquid amber. So I kind of incor incorporated that too to see how it goes and I want to share this recipe so you guys can make it and kind of branch off that and then you know bounce ideas off each other or improve upon it later down the line but I want to get it out there uh, maybe it'll help somebody else who's trying to clone this juice and yeah so that's what I'm here to do today so let me go over the ingredients first that I'm using and then we'll mix it up the first ingredient I'm going to be using is TFA acetopyrazine Next up, I'm going to be using an Awara biscuit to help with that grain, to help with that toast, and to help get a little bit of buttery note. And of course, if you don't know, acetylperazine is an additive. I'm only using a drop per 10 mil. Today, I'm making a 30 mil batch, so it's going to be only three drops in it. That also is a nutty, grainy additive that helps kind of build up that bread note. All right, and then next up is black currant. I'm using black currant in here to uh, try to assist in that jammy taste of the strawberries. Followed by brown sugar because I just think it will help bring the sweetness up of the whole entire recipe. Followed by capella French vanilla. Now, capella French vanilla is a different one, but I thought it would kind of bring... I'm kind of want to bend it with that French vanilla to kind of make it creamier and thicker just for like mouthfeel followed by Capella Golden Butter because I've heard a lot that some people think there's a hint of butter in Jam Monster so I want to throw it in there also with the assistance of an Aware Biscuit because an Aware Biscuit kind of gives you a butter note too but a lot of these are just really low to the ground just so they're there and they work with each other rather than against each other next up i did liquid amber to help with the black currant because that's what i normally use in order to make a jammy flavor uh now for the strawberries i used flavor art red touch strawberry because i feel it has more of a jammy kind of taste to it with also with conjunction with uh, Capella Sweet Strawberry and TFA Strawberry Ripe because those are my favorite strawberries and as I said I want to make this recipe work for me work for how I like strawberries and then I used Super Sweet because it's a sweet juice and I want it to be sweet now you don't have to use sweeteners in it like I do in any of my liquids I just like sweet juices I do know the drawbacks but that's just my thing you guys probably know that already also, I used uh, TFA Toasted Marshmallow. Now, I used Toasted Marshmallow in this because, one, to thicken it up. 
because I want this to be a nice, nice mouthfeel. And also because I was going to use regular marshmallow, but one, I've been on toasted marshmallow kick. But two, toasted marshmallow is like, has this like kind of a toasted note to it. So I, I figured uh, t uh, jelly and toast, toasted marshmallow, they'd probably work together, right? And so far in my uh, first two iterations, it has worked very well. Uh, followed by uh, Vienna cream again Vienna cream creamy make it a little creamier and lastly the secret weapon is flavor West waffle yes flavor West waffle now with the waffle ingredient I did go and get some research on it I forgot where I looked but I did get some research on choosing to use flavor West waffle but I have been bouncing around with the percentages for flavor West waffle and I will go over the percentages as I mix it, but I find that helps give that toasted toast flavor the best, if that makes sense. All right, so let me grab a quick drink and a quick vape, and we will start mixing this bad boy up. Oh man, this blueberry is so good. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna start making some more stuff with blueberry. I really wanna, I really wanna have a bigger array of blueberry recipes. I really like blueberry too. At least as of late. Maybe it's because of the changing of seasons. Also, in case you guys missed it, on a separate note, I'm sorry. I'll get to the mixing right away. I promise. But on a separate note, if you missed it, me and DIY Vapor did a spur of the moment live stream on his channel. So go check DIY Vapor out. I'll probably leave a link in the description and you can check out our first ever live stream. We plan on doing more and yeah, it was a great time. It's fun. I like having somebody else on a live stream, bouncing ideas off each other, talking. It's less boring to me. Okay, so let's turn this on. Let's do our first ingredient, which is acetylpyrazine, which is only three drops because you're doing a 30 milliliter. So we're just going to do three drops. One two three that's always how i measure ap some people will actually do it by 0.10 percent 0.20 percent it depends but i it's a really strong and if you use too much it can lead to a very big frito flavor so i just use one drop per 30 mil that's what agrees with me because everybody's taste is going to be different followed up with anywhere biscuit it's at 0.5 percent so half a percent is equal to 0.15 grams all right that should do it that's going to give that that buttery flake note tear that out next up is flavor art black currant also in at half a percent or 0. 0.16 grams 0. 0.16 grams All right, flavor art black currant is in. Now, in a couple days, I will probably release this recipe on ELR. I won't wait so long, therefore people can start working on it. But also, you're going to be able to get the recipe here. But I am going to release it eventually on ELR. Okay, next up is TFA brown sugar extra. And this is also in at 0.5 grams or... So half, no, sorry, it's in a half a percent or 0. 0.16 grams. There we go. I misspoke. There we go. Brown sugar's in. Yeah, that bad boy out. Next up is Capella French Vanilla. It's in at 1% or 0. 0.32 grams. I love this flavor. So good. 0. 0.32 grams. All right, Capella French Vanilla is in. Gotta love that Capella. Speaking of Capella, next we got Capella Golden Butter. And Capella Golden Butter is in at half a percent as well, or 0. 0.16 grams. 0. 0.16. Okay, Capella Golden Butter is in. My scale had a little delay there, but it's fine. But 0.16 grams is what you want for that one. 
Next up is Flavor Art Liquid Amber. It's in at half a percent as well. And it's at 0.16 grams. So as you're seeing, a lot of these are in at half a percent just so they complement each other. Okay. Tear that out. Now the strawberry is first up is Flavor Art Red Touch Strawberry. This one is another must have in your collection. I love this one. Not as much as ripe, but it, you build your strawberries together. And I'm going to get through that in another video. I want to talk about how you're using multiple of like strawberries or cheesecakes to help build up your flavors. I'm going to get more into detail in that in another video. Okay, so Red Touch Strawberry is in at 2%, so it's 0.62 grams, 0.62 grams. Okay, there we go. Flavor Art Red Touch is in. Followed by TFA Ripe Strawberry. This is in at 4%. So 4% is 1.25 grams of ripe strawberry. 1.25 grams, 4%. All right, tear that out. Next up we have Capella Super Sweet, and that's at 0.5 grams, half a percent. You want to be careful using super sweet. It's very concentrated, so a little bit goes a long way. Never use this over 1%. But I'm doing half a percent here, so it's 0.16 grams. Okay, there we go. Super sweet is in. And we're going to tear that out. Followed by Capella Sweet Strawberry. This is in at 4%, so that's 1.20 grams. Sweet strawberry is in at 4%, 1.20 grams. I'm just repeating myself so you guys can make sure you write it down if you need to. I don't mean to sound like a broken record. <laughs> All right, there we go. Sweet strawberry is in. Tear that out. There's a lot of flavors in this one. Next up is TFA Toasted Marshmallows. This one, definitely a Swiss Army flavor. At least in my opinion. I, I fell in love with it right when I got it. Alright, Toasted Marshmallows in at 1.5%, so that's 0.49 grams. 0.49. This is just going to thicken it up. Give a little toast. All right. Next up, Flavor Art Vienna Cream. Vienna Cream is in at 2% or 0.62 grams. Okay, Vienna cream is in. And now, last but not least, Flavor Art Waffle. Flavor Art Waffle is in at 2% again, and it's 0.62 grams. Okay, there we go. Flavor Art Waffles, ah, uh, sorry, Flavor West Waffle is in. Tear that out. Next up is nicotine. Today we're using 100 milligram nicotine suspended in PG. Now nicotine at this concentration is considered a poison, so you want to keep it away from children and pets. And at minimum, wear at least gloves at minimum. Now I just want you guys to be safe. Just don't get it on your skin. I don't mean to lecture anybody in my videos, but it's very important that you take this stuff seriously. Also, you're going to want to make sure you shake it very well because you don't want to get concentrated hot spots. Now, since we're using PG, it's not as bad. You don't have to shake it as much, but if it was VG, you have to shake it even more because it's a lot more viscous of a fluid, so it's thicker. So you want to make sure it's always evenly distributed. 
All right. So this is in, I want to do a three milligram on a 30 milliliter bottle. So that's 0 0.93 grams, 0.93. Now it will give me my three milligrams. There we go. Nicotine's in. Next up is VG. Gotta have that VG. Today I'm doing Max VG. So I like to have Max VG because I don't like more of the throat hit. Now if you want more of a throat hit, I would suggest maybe a 80-20 or actually more like a 70-30. 70-30 is like a good middle of the road. But I should get into that in another video as well. But I like Max VG for the regular for my regular juices. All right, so this is going to call for a 29.29 grams of VG. I'm just going to fill her up. Okay, there we go. So now that the VG is in, now all we got to do is mix it. And that's why I mix it in this beaker so I can use my handy dandy mixer I got here from Liquid Barn. And you don't need all this. I mean, it just helps, or helps with hand cramps. I mean, that means you don't have to shake it so much with your hand at first. And I do want to get the Norpro mixer from Amazon. It allows you to actually mix it just in the bottle and then you don't have to worry about cleaning a beaker. But this works for what it is. It's nice. It does save some time, some energy. You don't have to do it too much. You just do it till it looks like a milky substance. All right, let's give this a little sniff. Oh yeah, guys, that's phenomenal. I think that black currant surely is going to help. Now, guys, I just want to release this to you guys to let you know where I am on it. I might do a little more tweaks like here and there, but I think for most part it is good for prime time. So I want to put it out to you guys. So if you're trying to clone GM Monster or anything like that, this might help give you some ideas on where you want to go with your own mix. But again, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And also throw a like on it because it will put this video higher in search, allowing more people to find me allowing me to put more into this channel. So that really does mean a lot to me. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, throw it in the comments down below. Say you want to mix something. Say you have an idea. Hey, I want more blueberries. Hey, I want more strawberries. Whatever it be. Put it in the comments. I do try to read everything, and I do make a good attempt to get back to everybody. But at least that gives me an idea to gauge what you guys want uh, for videos and stuff. Do you want more beginner videos? You know, that sort of stuff. Or if you like it, you like this mix, or if you want to add something, or what you're mixing, let me know. I definitely want to hear what's going on. I love love hearing about what other mixers are doing. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. You guys have yourselves a great day. Peace.